Hello everybody, this is Terry Nance. I want to welcome you to God's Armor Bearer Awakening. And this is the day God made and he made it just for you. There's grace for today, just for you. Everything you need is right now in you and been provided for Jesus Christ. So let's tap into that grace and let's receive it on a daily uh, a daily portion for today. And you are going to be blessed and something good's going to happen to you in Jesus name. I have been uh, talking to several students. I am now mentoring them and walking them through how to teach the Armor Bear Leadership course. It, uh, every church needs an armor bear class and it needs to be a small group going continually. So people who want to be involved in the ministry of helps can go through that class where they understand their part. They understand how to be faithful. They understand how to take hold of the vision of the house. And so all you've got to do, it's a hundred dollars a month. And if you will contact me through my website, godsarmorbear.com, you can get the information. I would like for everybody watching this broadcast to send it to four or five pastors that you know. Say, hey, watch this. I want to help train. If you could give two or three out of your church and pay this monthly, we'll do a, it's a year program, 12 months. I will walk them through the teaching on the armor bear and uh, they will be able to share it and teach it the, the way I teach it. And so I really pray this revelation is more real today and more relevant than it's ever been. I had a very uh, well-known pastor talk to me recently and said, you know, the teaching of the armor bear, man, we need it today. And I said, absolutely. That's why the Holy Spirit is doing what he's doing. I am open to come into your area and to do an armor bear conference. I would love to do that. All you need to do is go to the website. You can contact me uh, through my website. I'll be glad to get with you. We'll work out a date and we can come. Uh, I want to talk today, and I've been talking about really the vision and being a visionary, but really t- talking about following God's predetermined course. Uh, Ephesians 111, and I'm, t- I'm, re- I'm teaching right out of God's armor bearer devotional. All of these that I'm teaching, I'm teaching out of this book. You can get this from Destiny Image or you can get it online. I don't currently carry this book, but uh, it is available. Paul said this in Ephesians 1.11, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. The word translate, the word translate predestined in the verse means a predetermined. God has a predetermined, pre-designed course for every one of us. The course was set before we were ever born on this earth. Jeremiah 5 1, if you remember this, the Lord said to Jeremiah, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. God knew you before the foundation of the world, and he set an individual course for each of us to follow. You know, Jeremiah was a young man when God called him. And the first thing that Jeremiah said to God is, I am but a youth. And the Holy Spirit corrected this. Don't you ever say, I am a youth again, because you are what I called you to be. Now, why would the Lord basically rebuke Jeremiah in that? It is because he is not agreeing with what the Spirit of God says. And your unbelief can shut down the will and the purpose of God. You can allow sin in your life. You can allow things to come in and it will break you from the will of God. The thing the devil doesn't mind, the devil doesn't mind you going to church. He doesn't mind you singing hymns. He doesn't mind you doing things, but he does not want you to fulfill that gift and that call. And there's a uniqueness that's on the inside of you. And God's called you. And the way those giftings are released, because I, I counsel people all the time. Oh, Pastor Terry, how how do I get my gifts? I tell you, I believe I have a prophetic gift. I have I have a gift of healing. And I always say, stop it. Stop it. Serve. What you make happen for someone else, God makes happen for you. Your character is more important than your gift. You develop your character in Christ. You learn to serve. Be submissive. Let God exalt you. You don't, there is no self-promotion in the spirit. 
The spirit doesn't tell you, okay, get up right now and, 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 and just start doing this. No, many people have pushed ahead thinking, Hey, you know, well, nobody's going to honk my horn. Bless God. I'm going to honk it. Well, let me tell you what. I'd rather God honk my horn than, than man honk my horn. And, and the Bible says he'll exalt your horn with honor. So you don't need to brag. You don't need to talk about yourself. You be quiet and you serve in the background because I'm going to tell you, those are the voices that God raises up and uses in these last days. And, and you're one of them. You're an armor bearer. You're carrying that spirit. True leaders will carry an armor bearer spirit. All the great leaders go study their lives. They didn't start out front. No, they started with serving others. David served Saul. Joshua served Moses. Elisha served Elijah. I mean, we could go right on down the line. And the, the call of God on them was to serve those men and women. And so as they did that, the anointing was increased in their life and they went and did even greater things. Now, it's very, very important that we understand that. You're valuable. You have a call. You are predestined to walk in that. So God's got a predestined plan. Well, can we walk away from that? Oh, of course we can. Look at Jonah. Jonah walked away. I'm not preaching to Nineveh. And when you really study the history, I don't blame him. I mean, gosh, the Ninevites were were terrible what they did oh, the, to the Jews when they caught them. I mean, kill the un, kill the the mother and the baby in the womb, just cut it right out. They were horrible. So Jonah said, "I'm not preaching to him. I don't want any mercy." And then God said, "Let me tell you something, Jonah. When I choose to give mercy, that that's not up to you. And so you either go do this, or you you're going in a whale's belly." And of course, you know the story. After three days, he repented, and uh, you know once the whale threw him up on the beach and the Ninevites were all there and he goes, repent. They were like, okay, it's time to repent. But here's the point. You've got a divine course and it's a lot more difficult to get out than you think it is. You're more than likely in the divine course. Humble yourself before God this week. Humble yourself today and say, Father, your will be done. I pray for everyone watching the broadcast. Father, your will be done in their lives. In the name of Jesus, God bless you.